In this video, we're going to take a look at doing color separations. Now, this particular file that we're looking at, this was a file that I purchased from the Rhinestone World. But when I purchased the file from the Rhinestone World, let me show you how it came to me. So it comes to us just like this, already color separated. But you can see it's basically all the dots are one color. So what we did here in Easy Stone, we selected the dots. Well, we're going to go, uh, we did light cyan and hit uh, rename and fill on the stone tab. And then over here, we selected all the dots. And we chose the crystal color rename and fill. And then we took the two separate designs and we combined them. Right? And we deleted one of the yellow squares. In fact, we changed that square to black. And that's what brought us to this. Okay, so when we purchase a file from the Rhinestone world, it comes color separated, but it doesn't come to grouped as one design, one multicolored design. Our files come to you as one multicolored design, but not color separated. <laughs> so um, all of our old files, I should say, came as one design file, different colors but just as one design file. They weren't pre-color separated. And there's some programs out there like Make the Cut, WinPC Sign. When you import a multicolored EPS file, it just comes in as one color. So that's why the Rhinestone world sets their files up as being color separated, but they don't give us a combined file. So if we wanted to send a design to a customer for approval for like a mock-up, we wouldn't be able to. We'd have to first combine the file together in order to send it as one complete file to our customer but then when we actually go to cut the file if we're using make the cut or WinPC sign um, as our cutting software well then we would have to color separate so let me show you quickly how we do that in easy stone because it's really simple so we just select our design we come to the miscellaneous tab we hit the export vector file we choose the color option to color separate we give it a name I'm just I'll just call it base and I hit export. It'll export a design file that's already color separated, but it also does the color separations right here in CorelDRAW. So now we have the completed file and the color separated version. All right, so what do we do um, for doing color separations if we don't have Easy Stone? Well, let me show you. Doing color separations with CorelDRAW is not difficult. It's just convoluted the way it works uh, because it's not quite as sophisticated uh, as Easy Stone is. So we have our design. We need to color separate this design. So I'm going to select the whole thing, copy, and I fit File New, and I'm going to paste, and I'm going to hit File New again, and hit Paste again. So there is the design. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the edit menu. I would zoom in a little bit like, like this. We're going to go up to the edit menu. We're going to choose find and replace and choose find objects. And it says begin a new search. Next. We're going to go to fill, uniform fill. We'll hit next. And then specific fill. And we have a little eyedropper, right? And we can pick one of these red dots and hit next and finish and find all and now it's selected all of our red dots so now we can hit delete and that takes care of that right so now we have our first part so we go ahead and close that out come over here to the window menu go back to untitled 2 and we'll do same kind of thing we're going to go to edit menu we're going to come down to find and replace we're going to hit find objects begin a new search we'll hit next we're going to do fill uniform fill hit next and then right here it says specific fill, eyedropper, gray dot, next, finish, find all, and delete. Now we're done. Now, do I expect you to completely understand that entire process the first time to, through? No. So watch the video again and again and again, and you'll see exactly what I'm doing. It's really not uh, very hard at all. All right, so now, now what? Now we have our 
different files. So I'm going to go ahead and select this group. Let's go back to our original document and paste. And then we'll just go ahead and reposition it down. And then we'll go to our next document, select the entire thing, copy, go back to our first document, paste, and we'll move it down. And there you have your color separated file here in CorelDRAW along with your original file. And so now we could export this out right here. We could export it out and we'd be ready to go. Um, we could export this as an EPS file or whatever we needed to export it for our Make the Cut software or in WinPC sign. Thanks for watching.